Okay, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to install this Beehive controller for your sprinklers. It's made by Orbit and it's a smart controller. So you're going to be replacing the controller that you currently have in your house with one of these. We're gonna unbox it. First, let's start with the benefits. So the benefits of this, it's Wi-Fi connected and you can connect to your app. It comes with an app. So uh, kind of the three main things that I think of is when I'm traveling, if I need to turn on a zone or water the sprinkle or you know, water the lawn a little bit, I can do that from where I'm at remotely. The second thing is I, you, you're able to, uh, if you're repairing, the, repairing a zone or testing a sprinkler, tweaking a sprinkler, you can be standing by the sprinkler and turn on the zone, test it, turn off the zone. You don't have to go into the garage and out of the garage, in the garage all the time. So it's a time saver. And the third one is it can serve, it can conserve your water because you can set it up where it'll um, go with the weather patterns. And if it's been really rainy, then it won't water the lawn because it doesn't need the water. Okay, so let's st go ahead and start with the unboxing. You can get this for about $100 off of Amazon for six zones. There is a more expensive one that you can do 12 zones with. So it's pretty simple. Uh, here's the controller. And then what else is in the box? There's the uh, manual and then a few screws, the key, screwdriver, that kind of thing. All right, so let's look at the, look at our controller here. When you open it up, nice screen here, open up back here, and this is where the wires are actually gonna go in. All right, so here you can see, this is where the zone one, two, three, four, five, six, that's where the zones are gonna go in at. All right, so let's look at the, what we currently have here. We have a Rainbird, so we need to disassemble this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll unplug it. That way there's no live electricity and it's no, it's no longer hot. And we'll pull this off. This will give us access to the uh, screws here. Another thing you want to do is take a picture of this so you can see where the zones are. The power is on the left, the sensor is here, the white wire is a common wire, and then we have our four zones. Zone one is yellow, zone two is red, zone three is blue, and zone four is green. So we'll just need to remember that. So let's take this off the wall now. There's one screw here. And then there's another screw that's up behind it. So we'll lift this off. There's the other screw. Okay, so now that we have this off the wall, all we have left to do is uh, to remove this is to unplug the uh, four zones and the common wire. All right, so I have a flathead screwdriver here. I, I did put it back on the wall just so it's not flopping around. We're just gonna push down in there and then pull the wire out. So just push and then the, if you don't push, then the wire is gonna be, uh, it'll be biting the wire. So you push down a little bit, that'll release it. There we go. So now we've completely removed it from the wall. That's the end of step one. All right, so I'm going to just pull this apart just a little bit here. This won't open all the way by itself, but if I pull this, now this will pull this way. That gives us access here a lot easier. Be careful, don't put any pressure on this. This is where the, where the display connects to the rest of the unit. This just makes it easier to, to see here. So now I can't use this same screw because it'll sit about right there and the wires are not long enough and there's not enough uh, give in the wires. So we're gonna have to move the screw down closer and then also cut this down because the box is gonna need to sit about right there. So we need to cut off a little bit of the PVC and then use another screw a little farther. So let's do that next. All right, so we've cut a little bit off of this. We want enough wires, enough lanes to go right there. So the top will be about right here. So the screw needs to come down. So let's just do that really quick here. Take this screw out. Come down a little bit. Oh, about right there. You don't want to screw it all the way in. That way it can uh, still rest on it. All right, this has knockouts. So you can take this whole piece off or if you need more, you can take these out. We're not going to do that. We're going to see if we can get this wire to stick through that. We'll see what happens. There we go, success. Now we can just mount this to the wall. 
right on that screw. There we go. So now it's mounted on the wall and then you can put a second screw through here or even one of the other sides to keep it stable. Okay, I did put some tape on this so this doesn't fall. This will allow me to use both hands to get this level and to put a screw in. I'm just gonna put one screw right through there. Start right here. You can move the wires out of the way. Okay, and let's get it level. And then let's put the screw all the way in. Okay, now it's in. While we're over here, let's go ahead and pull this tab for the battery. This is a backup battery. All right. All right, we still have not plugged in the device, so there's still no electricity, it's not hot. Now there's Phillips uh, screws in here that you'll need to loosen. You'll need to loosen the one for the common wire. So that's lefty loosey. And then you'll also need, need to loosen for how many zones you have. Since this has four zones, we'll loosen the first four. One. Two. Four. Okay, let's start with the common wire. That one goes in right there. And then now let's tighten it back down. I'm using this uh, cobalt uh, screw, dri screw driver. The reason why I like this is because you, you can use the action, it's double action. So if you watch the tip up here, as I twist it, it's going, and then as I ratchet back with my hand, it still continues to tighten. So it's half the motion and it tightens really well. You can get these from Lowe's. It's like the only thing I get from Lowe's. All right, so that's it. Let's tighten this down. And then once it's tight, you can just pull it a little bit, make sure it's uh, tight. So then the four colors, we're gonna do yellow, red, green, sorry, yellow, red, blue, and then green will be at the end. So we can just kind of separate them like that. So zone one is gonna be yellow. Put yellow in there. And then red is next. One, two. Zone three is blue. Stick that one in there. Looks like we need to loosen that just a hair more first. There we go, now it's slid up there. Now this is probably obvious and common knowledge, but you wanna make sure none of the wires are touching each other here. That's why it's important that it goes and slides all the way in there. Looks like we're gonna have to loosen zone four a little bit more. Lines in there. That'll be okay. The wires are not touching. Okay, so let's just test them really quick. Quick tug on them. Make sure they're all in there. Okay, they're all in. So now we can come over here. We're going to take our tape off. We've already removed the tab for the battery. Now we can put this back on. Now, if you come in here and look close, you'll see that there's a like a beveled edge off of this. That's the way it's gonna slide on. So don't try and put this on like this. Instead, mostly close it, put one side in, and then on the bottom side, it'll slide in a lot easier. And it'll just pop right in. Okay, and now you won't be able to open it all the way. You shouldn't need to. Now we can close this, and we can plug it in now. And as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna start doing its tests and turn on. Now that you have it plugged in, grab your phone, download the Beehive app. You're gonna to go to devices, add a new device. This is a new device. Select the appropriate one. And now this will connect. We'll scan for Wi-Fi.
Okay, I found it. Go ahead and next. Then you'll put in your address. Then you're going to connect the zones. There are four zones on this system. And let's go ahead and test zones. All right, so we verified that the sprinklers in zone one did turn on. Now this has an option right above the number one that you can go take a picture of that. So we'll go show where zone one is. Okay, so you'll use it to take a picture. And this is just gonna show you what part of your lawn zone one is gonna be for. Now you know zone one looks like that. All right, now let's hit next. Okay, so let's run the test for all these zones. Here's zone one that's testing, and we can hit next. Okay, now let's name the zone. And then now we're gonna do the same thing, repeat the process for zone two through four. Okay, now it's gonna ask you, how would you like to water? We're gonna select smart watering. And then now we're just gonna go through these controls. We're gonna want all, water all zones with smart watering. And then there's other advanced details of the type of soil, so you can select what's best for you. And then what are you, you know, what type are you doing? Mostly shrubs or is it a you know, desert plant? So what kind of landscaping do you have? Then what type of sprinklers do you have in zone one? And just follow these prompts. How many sprinklers are in zone one? Now we're working on zone two. So you just follow these prompts for all of the zones that you have. Now, do you have any watering restrictions you want to add? This is where you'll do that. And congratulations, you're all set up. Okay, now we can start using the device. 
and now we're we're set we're ready to go you can make any of the adjustments you have for your local area all right so that finishes the install both on the physical device on the wall controller on the wall but also on your phone there's one last thing the key i want to show you how that works so you'll close this it'll latch over here on the side and then with the key you'll lock it and this dot when it's to the side like that means it's locked and then if you have it point back up now you can see it's pointing up that means it's unlocked and it'll open and close so now you can just leave it locked and control it all from your phone i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've learned something and i hope it's you feel like hey you know what i can do something like this i can install it if you have any questions throw them in the comments and i'd love to help you and if you like this con if you like this type of content i'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed so you got the notifications thanks for your support